Xfinity presents High School Sports. Tonight at Ted Carlson Memorial Field in Rockford, the host Rams held on for a tough OK Red victory over Holland West Ottawa, the final score 24 to 14. Welcome alongside Ty Halleck. My name's Joe Jason. Thanks for joining us for tonight's highlights of this game. And boy, what a second half defensively by Rockford, holding this Holland West Ottawa team to just five total yards. Yeah, they became very stout for Ralph Munger and his staff. They took care of business. They did what they needed to do, but they just absolutely took away the big play threat that the West Ottawa Panthers present. They were very stout. Guys like McDonald and, and, and others stepped up and took care of their roles and responsibilities. It was defense that set the tone early in this game as we take a look at the first half highlights and uh, the defense for the Rams stepping up big here in the early going of this football game time. Absolutely. Rodino tries to come off the edge and that man, Mr. McDonald, number seven, is the first one to meet him. He did a great job all night long. Looks like a touchdown. Oh, no. Stepping in front of the play, making the interception. Casey Zenner. Yeah, another great job. And then the miscue by Kyle Short and the Rockford Rams weren't able to take advantage of that. And Ryan Verhelst, who was big for West Ottawa all night long, took advantage of it and got himself a touchdown defensively. Gave the Panthers a 7 to nothing lead. Rockford off the left side. Good run there by uh, Conley. Yep, Cauley did a good Cawley. job all night long. And Reinke himself coming out of the uh, – flat here with a boot getting a couple extra yards but those two carried all night long to get a field goal to make it seven to three 19 yarder there and then uh, back the other way over the middle there's a great catch on a on a tip and then a fumble and a recovery by Rockford turned things around a lot of guts early by West Ottawa but this man Reinke he had guts himself all night long making big runs using the hip pocket deal and then Connor Grady getting himself in there for a touchdown behind the offensive line who played well all night long, uh, both on inside and exterior runs, uh, did the Rockford Rams do very well on the offensive line. Grady at the 214 mark with that touchdown made it 10 to seven, but then how about Verhelst again? Already had a touchdown defensively with that pick six from 43 yards. Look at him stretch for this one. Absolutely, on that drive he was amazing, caught the thin post you saw before in this one, the one-on-one, -on -one. and then he turns around and runs a little inside out into the end zone. Touchdown Verhelst, West Ottawa takes the lead. That score with 21 seconds to go in the half would give West Ottawa a 14 to 10 lead going in to the locker room at halftime. Defense, the theme of the third quarter. And look at this punt return. A great return after the three and out. And Rockford setting up shop deep in West Ottawa territory after this. Hunter Smith, number 28, all night long, was very good on punt returns. This was a big field position change and allowed Rockford to get their motor rolling. Coming in. Darian Vaughn took, he had to come in for Reinke and got himself a nice touchdown underneath. A lot of guys contributing, but none bigger contributing to their team was Ryan Verhulst, and this play was the play of the game if you really look at it. A punt return for a touchdown and a block in the back called late that really cost the Panthers an opportunity to get and stay on top. They were never, never, never able to come back. Rockford continued to grind inside, outside. Here's Cauley getting himself into the end zone, and the Rockford Rams totally took, took control of this game and did exactly what Ralph Munger likes to do. And you'll see it, 291 yards rushing. That's the type of game Ralph Munger wanted. And also the turnovers, one being key when Atu Condoli on that fake punt caught the ball but then lost it and gave it back to the Rams. So certainly Ralph Munger and his uh, staff has got to be happy. One with the rush, the up-tempo that they took care of and came out with a big victory for the Rockford Rams who are now 4-2. Uh, and two. Your final once again, Rockford defeating Holland West Ottawa by a score of 24 to 14. Rockford improving to four and two overall, two and zero oh in the OK Red, and Holland West Ottawa falling to four and two and one and one in the OK Red. And from our partner Ty Halleck, this is Joe Jason. Once again, thanks for joining us for high school football, a presentation of Xfinity High School Sports and Play on Sports Midwest.